Space Patrol! High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of... The Space Patrol! Terra City, capital of Terra, the man-made planet in space, seat of the United Planets government. As a city, a monument to the scientific achievements of man, yet vulnerable to the ruthless designs of Cavell, the man who stole a city. for exciting action on Space Patrol in just one moment. Take any object, Commander. Uh, any size of matter. Uh, this desk, uh, this chair, or this ray gun, for instance. Instead of putting a hundred of them in a case for shipment, you could pack a hundred thousand of them in the same space. Thousand to one. Exactly. Now let's say you would have to transport a thousand brand new spaceships from the factory on one planet to another planet. You would need one thousand pilots. But by putting the atom harmonizer on them first, you could put the whole thousand of them in the cargo hold of a space freighter. And one pilot could fly them to their destination. Then they could be restored to their original size. You could revolutionize transportation, all right. Yes. Have you constructed a working model of this atom harmonizer yet? Why, no, but uh, I, we could start on one of them in the research lab. I have detailed notes of the whole theory, and it shouldn't take more than, uh, oh, about two hours to work it up. I see. Well, use my office, Doctor. I'll have Tonga come in and assist you. Right. You'll find paper in the desk, and well, you know how to use the desk incinerator. Yes. Oh, but don't burn up any good ideas, Doctor. We can use them all. <laughs> all right, Commander. You're not a space patrol officer. The paper's done. No. Dr. Gatlin, I'm telling you that. Commander! Yes, sir. No! Come on. Oh. Settle down and get this straight. We're walking out of here, all three of us. If either of you makes a wrong move, it'll be your last one. Dr. Gatlin and Tonga must have finished. The smoking rockets, Commander, that sounds impossible. That they finished? No, that this thing actually works. That it can, can actually cause objects to shrink to one thousandth of their original size. Well, what happens anyway, Commander? Well, first of all, you know that all matter is composed of atoms. Yes, sir. Well, out of every thousand atoms, the harmonizer causes all but one to disappear. You mean only one out of every thousand atoms is left? Mm hmm Then uh, the inner atomic attraction pulls the remaining atoms together resulting in shrinkage in a ratio of a thousand to one. In rockets, Well, what about people, sir? Uh, would it shrink people, too? No, no, not people. A harmonizer won't affect protoplasm. Oh, hey, you know, that, that'd be a pretty tight squeeze, wouldn't it? Uh, what would? Well, if you shrunk the size of a spaceship while the pilot was still aboard. Uh, oh, that's strange. Strange? That'd be impossible. Why, the spaceship would only be that big, no, and yet the person no, would... I, I mean this. 
Hmm? The stranger, Dr. Gatlin, left his briefcase here. What are you doing to him? Leave him alone! What are you doing? You won't get away with this. You have the whole safe control on you. Turn that off. You make too much noise. What do you want with us? He said turn it off. Hold it. Hold it, Professor. She makes too much noise. Perhaps, but you must make her angry. I need people such as her on my planet. And unless they're cooperative, they will be useless. You don't have your planet yet, Coble. Just a matter of time. Dr. Gettin, I want your theory of the atom harmonizer. Lester tells me you destroyed your notes. Now will you give us your theory, or must we take it from you? Let's use the brain of Graf and get it over with. That's right, Lester. By all means, let's get it over with. Put as many additional men on it as you need. Tonga and the doctor didn't just disappear. Keep me informed. Hurry out. Smoking rockets, Commander. It's been three whole days. Oh, I'll get it. Commander Corey's office. Yeah, I'll take the message. What is it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Right, got it. Some fellow says the Interplanetary Space Bank just disappeared. Disappeared? What did you say? I'll take that. Repeat that, please. Yes? Yes. Yes, Corey out. Commander, it's you not just heard like right, Happy. You... The Interplanetary Space Bank has disappeared. Commander, that's impossible. It couldn't have burned down. It's fireproof, and it's too big to be carried away. Not if an atom harmonizer had been used on it first. Sure. That's why Dr. Getlin disappeared. Someone has managed to construct an atom harmonizer. Yeah. Reduced the bank in size, picked it up, and walked away with it. That's only the beginning, Happy. Nothing in the United Planets will be safe. Smoking rockets. Hap, get down to shoot 32 at the spaceport. See the Terra 5 is checked out for immediate flight. Yes, sir. Communications? This is Commander Corey. See that this gets to all units at once. Be on the lookout for persons or person unknown. We'll be in possession of a strange appearing instrument. About three feet long, tubular, with small controls mounted on the side. Another ship. No. Corey has to find a ship in the space. Would you saw that cadet go aboard? You don't want to shrink a ship with somebody inside. Then get him out. I want Terra 5.
miniature rocket chute and Terra 5 was gone. That's the work of the atom harmonizer, all right. I'm sure glad I wasn't still aboard Terra 5 when they reduced it. Yeah, you were lucky, but I'm worried about the other people. What other people, sir? Anybody, inside any building. No telling where they'll strike next. We've got to stop them. How can we stop them, sir? Smoking rocket, somebody's loose on Terra with an atom harmonizer. Shrinking buildings and spaceships and endangering everybody's life and... We don't even know why they're doing it. And now back to Space Patrol. Yes, I know, I know. Yes, I'm fully aware of the effect it's having on the people. You'll just have to release a public notice that all accounts in the Interplanetary Bank of Terra will temporarily be handled through the Interplanetary Bank of Mars. Right. Hurry out. Smoking rockets, Commander. They sure made a haul last night. Two more spaceships. And this time they took the rocket chutes, too. And they got a large fuel tank. This large office building over here. And on top of all that, they took four homes, just houses that people live in. So far, no one has been reported injured. Apparently, the atom harmonizer is being used mostly at night, and the buildings are empty. Yeah. And all the houses that were stolen belonged to people who were away on a trip. But why, Commander? Why would anybody want to steal all these buildings? You'd almost think they were starting to build a city of their own. What? I said you'd almost think they were starting to... Government Territorial Commission, quickly. Well, this is Commander Corey. I want your office to be on the alert for the purchase of property. Property large enough to, on which to build an entire city, or maybe even larger. That's right. Yes, notify all your branch offices on all planets, and alert all private real estate offices. Yes. Yes, and communicate with me at once. Corey out. Stealing buildings to make a city? Everything points to it, Happy. Commander Corey here, go ahead. What? Well, tell Space Control to put on a double shift to handle the emergency. What is it this time, sir? Magnetic force control. They forced everyone out at the point of a gun and they stole magnetic force control. <laughs> cities, and even the people who populate them. What will you do when the Space Patrol sends a fleet of ships up to you and your planet? Declare war on the entire United Planet? Yes, if necessary. But you are out of your mind. What chance do you think they'd have against me? A whole fleet, what chance would they have if they were all turned into the size of toys? You, you wouldn't do that. Wouldn't I? Let them try it and see. They'll soon discover that the atom harmonizer can be a most effective deadly weapon. But I didn't conceive that to be a weapon. It was meant to be a device for progress. Cobble, we're just wasting time. So we are. There's a planetoid. A rather large one. Known as X-231. This will be my new planet. X-231? Why, that's government property. So it is. But it'll soon be mine. I'm quite sure they'll gladly sell it to me, uh, providing I offer them uh, enough money. Oh, I would take millions. <laughs> Which I will take from the interplanetary bank when I convert it back to its original size. Yes? Yes. Planetoid X-231? He bought the entire planetoid? Well, how did he pay for it? That's our man. His name? Anton Covell. 1420 Astro Way. Thank you, Corey out. Now we have something to go on. Well, are you sure this is the one we're after, sir? He paid cash for the planetoid. 975 million credits. Who else could do a thing like that except the man who stole the interplanetary space bank of Terra? 
Good luck, I'm sure glad we finally got a lead, Commander. I was afraid that before we could stop this Adam Harmonizer, they'd put it to work right here in Space Patrol Headquarters building. The Adam Harmonizer. Me and my big mouth. Let's get out of here. Oh, come on, half down the back corner. Anton Cobell. It looks like we're too late, Commander. Yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> that Tonga and Dr. Getlin here, all right. What's this, Commander? It looks like a brain is They must have used it on Dr. Getlin. I wonder where they went. I think we know, Happy. Where, sir? Planetoid X-231. Cobell should be starting to build his first city. Why did you pick this planetoid, anyway? Several reasons. Several reasons. First of all, it has an atmosphere rich in hydrogen. And hydrogen is the basic building block for all matter. It's needed to regenerate the missing atoms in our buildings when we restore them to their actual size. I still don't understand why you had to lift the Space Patrol headquarters building. Why not? It's the finest office building in the United Planets. It's going to be my headquarters. And sooner than you think. Let's get started. I sure wish we had Terra 5, Commander. Guess they're a lot quicker than this battle cruiser. Well, not much farther now. Put that miniature building over there. Now watch. Yeah, Lester, what do you think of it now? A ship, we've been spotted. No matter. Go back to our ship, get tongue on the doctor, and bring them into my new office. And what about them up there? It's only one ship, don't worry. If they walk in on us, we'll be waiting for them. Cut switches. Wait. Commander, you see what I see? Yes, Space Patrol Headquarters. Sitting right out here on this planetoid. Come on, and don't forget your gun. Thank <laughs> you. 
the rockets, Commander. Sorry, I started to disobey your orders back there. Yeah. Well, I could think I was getting out of that room. All right, Hap, I don't blame you. <sighs> I know how thick the doors are in this building. All I chance was to wait until it had been reduced in size so that it was weak. Yes, sir, I know that now, but... Hey, I forgot all about Tonga and Dr. Gettle and them. What if they're here? Watch them. Right. Oh, am I glad to see you, Commander. Look, where's Happy? He's outside, watching for Bell and Lester. They're uh, slightly unconscious. This I've got to see. Everything's all right now, Doctor. Sorry you had to go through all this. Oh, <clears throat> contrary, Commander. I'm afraid my theory is responsible for this whole affair. Well, anyway, now we'll be able to put it to good use. preview of next week's exciting adventure immediately following this important announcement for all you space patrollers. And now a scene from next week's exciting adventure, the gigantic Space Knight. Spoken rockets, Commander. We'll never get out of this ore hopper. What are we going to do? We're going to wait. Wait, sir? For what? For one of two things. They'll either empty this load of ore we're standing on into the crusher below us. Yeah, well, that's in it. Well, they'll dump another 800 tons of ore in on top of us. Spoken rockets, Commander. Either way, we lose. Be sure to see what happens when Buzz and Happy, on the trail of space hijackers, are confronted with the gigantic space knife. Next week on Space Patrol. Space Patrol on ABC Radio every Saturday. 